I can never for the life of me remember how this name is pronounced. Ovu, Ovi, Avu. I'm having that feeling where all I want to do is read and forget that I am reading when reading this book. Like, I feel like so immersed into the world. I'm only 80 pages in. If it looks like I just got done crying, it's because I did. Cheers. Basically, they're staying in this house together and they have to co-live. Hello book friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kaylin and I hope you are doing so so lovely. Welcome to another weekly reading vlog. How are you guys? I hope you guys are doing well. It is currently Monday, March 6th, I believe, and it is like 6.30 in the evening. I got home from work, did all my things that I needed to do, and now we are here. And I'm here to talk about the TBR for this week. And I do have a book of the month box to unbox with you guys and talk about the plans. So let's get into it. Let's start with the TBR this week. So currently I am still reading A Man Called Ovu. Ovu? Ovu? I don't know what it is about this name. I can never for the life of me remember how this name is pronounced. I think it's Ovu. Ovi, Avu, a man called Avi, Ovu, whatever, this book, a man called Uv, Avu, Ovo, Ovu, I don't know. Anyways, I am currently 189 pages into this book and I am really liking this. I have switched to fully listening to this on audio because this is a good book for me to listen to when I'm driving or when I'm doing house things or when I'm getting ready for work in the morning, I listen to this. So that is why I switched audio because it's a perfect book to listen to. So hopefully finish this and then I need to really get a crack in at this book, Chain of Gold. I, the last time I updated you guys, I was on page 39 and I have yet to read past 39. Um, all I can say is so far I am liking this book. I think I am going to like this more than Immortal Instruments. But yeah, that's pretty much all I can say about this book. I'm hoping to get this book finished this week. And if by some miracle I do finish this book this week, I'm going to pick up Chain of Thorn. Nope. I'm going to pick up Chain of Iron. But we shall see. I'm not going to put too much pressure on myself because I've come to term that this video project is not going to be done in time for the end of the month. It's probably going to be sometime in April when this is going to be released, which is fine. So, you know, whatever. Um, let's talk about the plans for this week and then we'll get into the unboxing. So I really honestly don't have plans this week, which is nice. I work my usual Monday through Thursday and then I have planned myself a complete off day on Friday, which... I'll talk more about when we get closer in time as to why I've planned it and why I call it an off day and all that. But yeah, that's basically a day where I'm going to do whatever I want. If that is sitting on the couch and binge watching something, we're going to do that. I actually kind of want to watch uh, the first season of Shadow and Bone because it has been exactly... The last time I watched Shadow and Bone, the first season, was the first day it was, it was released. And I actually started and finished it. Like I binged it all in one day. So I'd really love to like rewatch it to like kind of remember things even though I've already read the books but yeah so that's basically the plans uh Daisy Jones releases on uh, well releases new episodes on Friday I'm waiting till Saturday to watch them with my mom and that's basically it so not really a thrilling week but you know we never can know what we get up to so book of the month already opened it but we'll, let's just pretend it's boxed up but book of the month I got two books this month. So first we have the bookmark, which I can really appreciate that they do a bookmark. And this is, I'm a great judge of characters. So the, I got a, one of their picks and then I got an add on. So I, for the pick, I picked their thriller and this is the soulmate by Sally Hipworth. Never read anything by Sally Hipworth. But this just says, prepare yourself for a thrilling addictive novel about marriage betrayal and the secrets that push us to the edge. I'm very excited. I love domestic thrillers, so I'm pretty sure I'm really, really, really gonna like this book. And also I really like this cover a lot. I love this cover. This is actually a great book to read by the pool, I'm guessing. I'm trying to stack up books for when pool season comes around because 
yes it's only march but it's right around the corner honestly like my pool opens sooner than usual pools because obviously in an apartment complex they don't have to like abide by the like the standard pool opening rules if that's a thing but you know memorial days usually when they open um they said last year they open it as soon as they get the chemicals in and the pool is ready to go weather permitted but you know what i'm saying like last year they opened it before may so pretty excited so i'm starting to save my pool reads which pool reads are usually thrillers i usually read thrillers and i think i might take advantage of my kindle though because reading books by the pool water i've damaged a lot of books that way so because i love to like sit in the pool and have my book open and read so i think i'm gonna do my kindle but next is an add-on and this was actually one of my most anticipated releases of this year so if you guys watched that video that i did my 2023 anticipated releases which i will link it above um this was on there and i'm really excited book of the month had it this is called the last tale of the flower bride by roshani Joskasi. it says once upon a time a man who believed in fairy tales married a beautiful mysterious woman named indigo maxwell he was a scholar of myths she was the heiress to a fortune they exchanged gifts and stories and believed they would live happily ever after in exchange for her love indigo extracted a promise that her bridegroom would never pry into her past but when indigo learns that her estranged aunt is dying and the couple is forced to return to her childhood home the house of dreams the bridegroom will soon find himself unable to resist for within the crumbling manors extravagant rooms and musty halls lurks the shadow of another girl azuru indigo's dearest childhood friend who suddenly disappeared as the house slowly reveals his wife's secrets the bridegroom will be forced to choose between reality and fantasy even if doing so threatens his marriage or his life and it says um that it is a um it combines the lush haunting atmosphere of Mex mexican gothic with the dreamy enchantment of the invisible life of Addie larue the last tale of the flower bride is a spellbinding adult debut from the best-selling author it's a darkly romantic page turning about love lies and secrets and materials and the story we tell ourselves to survive <gasps> so excited oh i'm so excited i may read this sooner than i think but that is pretty much all i have for you guys right now also yes um i wanted to change it up and start the vlog in front of this setup and not my bookshelves because i always started my bookshelves but also i am way too lazy to set up my tripod it's just one of those days it's been a long day and i'm just like i can't even be bothered so this is it for you guys i hope that's fine but i am going to start on this book because I need to get some reading done and I'm gonna watch some booktube and I will come back when I have thoughts. friends it's now almost 8 p.m at night and i am here with reading updates so i'm about to go to bed which is why i'm doing this now because i am gonna be an organized queen okay i have started to actually like do a to-do list a notion of like um basically reading update one b-roll to make sure i have like an even vlog if you vlog you know what i mean like it's i'm a person that loves b-roll i know a lot of people don't so i like to have even amounts of like chattiness and b-roll so by doing a, a notion organization page you know that's gonna help me i'll show you tomorrow anyways um also another thing that i'm gonna get on is going to bed at eight being in bed by eight eight fifteen so I can read for a little bit in bed and then play Switch. Because I have gotten in a really bad habit to where I get in bed immediately. Where I get in bed and immediately play my Switch. Which is not a bad thing. But for someone who used to read in bed, like before they go to sleep and not play electronics, 
it's bad. So we're going to get back in the habit of reading before playing the Switch in bed. But I have made quick progress. I am on page 81 in Chain of Gold. And I will say I am really liking this. I'm surprised I'm really liking this. I'm liking this a lot more than Mortal Instruments. Definitely can tell the writing is so much better than it was in the Mortal Instruments. So I appreciate that. But I am having that feeling where all I want to do is read and forget that I am reading when reading this book like I feel like so immersed into the world I'm only 80 pages in so that makes me really really excited and hopeful that I'm really gonna love this series but I am gonna continue reading more of this in bed um if you guys want to know like my true thoughts and like where I'm at in the book you're just gonna have to wait for the vlog that's coming of this um anywho I am yeah gonna get ready for bed <gasps> You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to schedule my vlog. Just kidding. I'm going to do that in bed, though. But I'm going to wash my face, do skincare, all that. But uh, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. It's from my disco balls. Look how fun. Hi friends, happy Tuesday. So it is eight o'clock at night. I thought it was like 7.30. Why do work nights go by so fast? Like, what is that? But like the days go slow, but the nights at your home go fast. And it's like, why can't it be the opposite? I don't know, I don't like it. Also, oh. I was eating some chips and the salsa while reading. So I'm going to wear those. But hi, how y'all doing? I hope you're doing well. It is... Oh my god, I already said the day. I was going to re-say the day. Anyways, I'm here with reading updates because I do have some. So this morning, I listened to a man called Ovu... Uva. I don't... I listened to a man called Uva... And I am on page 229. I'm 67% into this book. And you guys, I love this book. Mainly because Uva reminds me a little bit of my dad. Not so much of like the grumpiness of this man. Because my dad's not really a grumpy man. But like the mannerisms of this guy. And like how he just is willing to help everyone. That's my dad. Although this guy in this book... He's, like, willing to help everyone, but he, like, is grumpy about it, and he's gonna say a comment about it. But, I don't know, I just, I really love this book, and I really just... <sighs> and we're getting, so, I don't know if I've said this, but we're getting past chapters of Uva when he was younger, and we kind of get to see why Uva is the way he is. And we're getting some chapters with his wife named Sonia, and... Their relationship is so cute. Like, there are so many moments in this book. And I wish I was reading this physically because I would love to go back and annotate some of these. But he just... <sighs> the way he describes his wife, honestly, is goals. And I'm trying to find the one. Okay, so here's a little thing. A quote. It says, people said Uva saw the world in black and white, but she was color, all the color he had. It's just... <sighs> Here's another one. And so when it turned out, Uva became a night cleaner instead. And if this hadn't happened, he would never have come off his shift that morning and caught sight of her with those red shoes and the gold brooch and all her burnished brown hair. And that laughter of hers, which for the rest of his life would make him feel as if someone was running around barefoot on the inside of his breast. She often said that all roads led to something you were always predestined to do. And for her, perhaps it was something. But for o but for Uva, it was someone. God, I love it. And then he built her bookshelves. And I was like, wow. But this book is so sad to just the things that have happened to Uva throughout his life and oh god and honestly Uva may be grumpy but his heart is pure gold 
like he is so grumpy but he is a the same time one of the sweetest men in the world because there's this moment where there's this guy who left his bike and Uva put it back where it's supposed to be and they had like an altercation and then the same night um he was delivering mail and he recognized him and he said well what are you doing with that bike and he said well I'm trying to fix it for my girlfriend but I don't really know what I'm doing and Uva's like I'll help you like he is the grumpiest man but yet he's willing to help anyone who needs it and it's just I love this book and maybe because Uva reminds me so much of my dad despite being grumpy my dad's not grumpy like I said but maybe that's why I love this book so much because I see my dad so much in this book and my dad is you know um one of my favorite people in the world as well as my mom both of them are just I love my parents so much so maybe that's why this book means a lot to me and I have cried a lot during this book just because of what had happened to Uva and it's just so heartbreaking um but I've also laughed a lot in this book Uva doesn't try to be funny but he is funny um, so yeah, I'm really, really liking this book. And uh, like I said, I think yesterday I have been listening to this book before work, like when I'm getting ready and it really helps. I get in the habit of listening to books before work and I fell in love with it. And then I fall out of the habit. And then when I go back to it, I realize how much it helps me in the morning. Just forget that I'm getting ready to go to work, uh, and forget that like, I'm anxious about it and just get lost in the story. So I need to remind myself to do that more often because I think it really helps. But yes, so I have been really liking this. I'm probably, I don't know, we'll see. I'll finish it this week sometime. I just don't know when. But I have also been reading Chain of Gold and I am now 126 pages into it. And you guys, I love the start of this book. And things are picking up. And I may have a new fictional crush. I don't know yet. I've seen him, like, a little bit of him that I really like. So I don't know if it's fully going to be there. But we'll see. It's Matthew, in case you guys are wondering. But yeah, so we are annotating this book. Can you all see that? Yeah. But I haven't really made a dent. We still got that much to go, besties. I was supposed to read the page... 200 tonight but I don't think it's gonna happen I am gonna as soon as I get off here I am gonna do my skincare and stuff and get into bed like I said yesterday I really want to make it a gold mine to read in bed because yesterday I fell asleep quite fast so we're gonna do that but first I'm gonna have something sweet to eat because I want something sweet but I will talk to you guys later hi friends happy Wednesday how are you guys how are we doing today um, I hope you've been great. Hope your day, morning, night, evening. That was so much out of order. You get what I'm saying. Oh, it was great. Um, I'm here with some reading updates. So I have been listening to a man called Ovo. Um, Ova. When am I gonna get that name right? I don't know. And according to the audiobook, I have about an hour left. Which doesn't seem right because I only have 30 pages left. So I'm debating on just sitting down and finishing this or continue reading Chain of Gold. I think I'm going to read Chain of Gold because I really want to read Chain of Gold really, really bad. And in case you guys want to know. I am on page 150. I'm six chapters in. That's what the annotations are looking like so far. That's all I'm going to say. So I think I'm going to read more of that. And I'll probably read, maybe I'll read until like, either until I get to page 200 or till 7 o'clock. And then I'm going to play Disney Dreamlight Valley and listen to this while I'm playing Disney Dreamlight Valley. That sounds like a plan. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go do those things. And I will catch you guys later.
if it looks like I just got done crying, it's because I did. <laughs> Hi guys, happy Thursday. So I've been home for a couple hours. I got off work super early. Um, that usually doesn't happen to me anymore just because we've been so busy, but I had a lucky day and I ended up getting off. I came home. I edited my video for Sunday, which is a day in my life, which should already be out by the time this vlog is out. So that is edited and it's actually exporting right now. So I feel very productive of that. And then I did some Pilates. I haven't talked about it, but I am trying out Pilates for the month of March to see how my body responds. Cause I know my body likes lower impact workouts. Like the most progress I saw in my body was when I was walking and running a couple times a week and then like maybe doing strength training. But I was literally, you guys, I did not touch a weight for literally all summer. I just ran and I walked and I lost uh, like a lot of weight and my body changed. Um, so I'm trying Pilates because I want to strengthen just everything. So I'm trying that and the weather is getting warmer, which means walks are going to happen too. Anyway, so I did Pilates. I'm in the middle of cleaning my house. We're not done yet. We still got a, a ways to go, but I decided I had, uh, I decided to listen to the last little bit of a man called Uva and you guys, I finished it and I cried. I love this book and I think if you have not read this book, I think you need to read it because this is an amazing book. It's so full of joyous moments, but equally like heartbreaking moment but then like I don't know you get to just see this is definitely a story that comes full circle and I'm not gonna say anything but that's just how this story is it's one of those books that something happens in the beginning or it's something related to the character and then at the end of the book it just comes full circle like it's a full circle moment and it was just so heartwarming and this book reminds me so much of my dad and I just really love this book a lot and I'm giving it a four uh I'm giving it a five star I only said a four star I'm giving it a five star so the second book from Frederick Backman has gotten a five star from me is this gonna be an author that is just gonna be a five star author because so far two out of his books I've read is five stars I really want to see the movie now, but I'm going to wait till the movie is available for streaming because I know I will ball my eyes out if I see this movie. Tom Hanks plays um, Uva, but they switched it to A Man Called Otto because I think there is a movie after this book, but they did the movie with Tom Hanks, like they redid the movie. Um, but yeah, it's called A Man Called Otto and everyone who has seen the movie says brain tissues. So I already know because I literally cried so many times throughout this book. I laughed so many times throughout this book. Like this is just an amazing book. And if you're feeling slumpy or don't really know what to read, read this book. I'm telling you, you guys, it's, it's very good. So I finished it. So first book done in the vlog. So I don't have this book on me. It's in my bedroom. But I think I got to page 200 last night and I'm planning on reading a little bit later tonight, but we got to finish cleaning and we need to cook dinner. I'm cooking homemade hamburger helper. It's not really what I want. I really want it, uh, to order food, but we're being good. No ordering food. So we're going to do that. First, let's clean your house. I'm going to listen to um, call her daddy because she is interviewing Cole Sprouse for this week's episode. And here's my thing with Call Her Daddy. Is in the beginning, was it a very, it wasn't a, it wasn't a great podcast in the beginning. I mean, I still loved it when I first listened to it because that's the headspace I was in. I was in a very like toxic, like headspace. But if the podcast was that now, I would not like it. And I think Alex Cooper, which is the host of Call Her Daddy, has grown so much with her interviewing skills and just her mindset and everything. And she's an amazing interviewer and she's had some amazing guests. So I like the podcast. Um, so I'm going to listen to this week's episode because I really want to listen to it and I'm going to clean, but I will catch with you guys. I will catch. I will see you guys later. Cheers.
It's the freaking weekend for me. Here is my dinner, homemade hamburger helper, garlic bread, and a ton of green beans. It's fine. They're healthy and it's filling. And also, the island is about to be watched. So I'm gonna go do this. Good morning, book besties. It's like eight o'clock on a Friday morning and I am up. Today is the start of my do nothing day. And let me explain. Um, so basically lately I had this epiphany that I think the reason why I don't feel relaxed ever on my days off, like I never feel like I have a day off, even though I have three days off a week, is because I'm always doing something on my days off. I never just allow myself to do what I want, sit in my pajamas, watch a show, watch movies, read, whatever I want. I'm always doing like content work, editing, filming, going and seeing people. Like I'm never just like at home sitting. And the only time I do get to sit at home is if it's like after work but I work the next day. So I'm very weird and I just can't relax unless it's my day off and I have like nothing to, like no work the next day. I can never relax if I work the next day. Anyone else like this? Anxious girly problems. So today is my do nothing day and I'm gonna see how I feel if I can, if I can relax basically that is the mission of today is seeing if I can relax. So the start of the day, um, Wyatt woke me up bright and early. Not bright and early, but he woke me up at seven and I fed him and then I kind of laid in bed. I ordered groceries uh, and then I ordered some new stuff for my bathroom because I'm slowly but surely redoing my home. Just little things, just to kind of spice it up. So that's what we're doing. Um, well, that's what I did. <laughs> and then I went and took the trash out, which is something I didn't want to do, but had to be done. And the reason why I did it is because I had a package from... Oh, it doesn't say anything. This is from Waterstones, I believe. It's my, um, it's a pre-order I ordered. So that's what this is. So we're going to open it together and then I'm going to make breakfast. And then I am actually going to sit and read some more of Chain and Gold, Chain and Gold, Chain of Gold. I want to get to page 300 today, which is like 50 pages away. So I think I can do it. Also, I kind of want to start a new book after I get to my uh, 50 page mark because I feel like it's not for you guys for me to like not have a book that I can like talk in depth with you guys and just be like, oh, hey, I'm on this page, by the way. Um, so I kind of want to start a new book. I'm feeling like one of the two romances I picked out for this month. I'll show you. Let's just open this first. Um, where's the little pull tab? There's no pull tab. You know how there's usually a pull tab? On these, there's no pull tab. Let's just open it. Also, this is a skinny box. Like, I didn't think this book was going to be this small. This book is small. Oh my god, this book is tiny. Is this the um, novella? So this is a novella. This says this is two novellas of Foul Lady Fortune. So technically, do I read this before Foul Lady Fortune? Because I have not read that yet. Okay, because I was like, this is really small for a second book in a duology. Um, but no, this is a novella. So this is the exclusive signed edition from Waterstones. I probably would not have gotten this if I knew it was a novella, but it's signed by Miss uh, Chloe Gong. And it also looks like this that is stunning look at that foiling are you kidding me uh yeah so this is two novella in it it has a foul thing in this foul murder so can someone tell me um do i read this i know it's a novella so technically it comes before foul lady fortune should i read foul lady fortune first or should i read this first and then foul lady fortune because this may give away some things huh or Foul Lady Fortune may give away things if I read this. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think because I don't, I don't really read novellas. Honestly, I've never read a novella because I just don't care for them. Like, um, what's that one in the Accordathone 
and Roses series. A Court of Frost and Starlight. I just don't care to read that, if I'm going to be honest. Which, speaking of that series, that's a series I need to carry on with, with my reread. Because I reread the first two books, and I just never finished. You know what it is? It is, I really loved it at the time when they were coming out. They, I think it was something we have just haven't seen before, like that addictive fantasy romance with like the spice and just like the world and all that. I don't think we've seen really anything like it or if we have I just wasn't aware of it at the time. Remember when these books came out they were originally out in like what 2015 or something like that. Um, I can't really remember. It's been a long time um, and I remember picking up the first book immediately hooked. Second book all-time favorite at the time and I just remember like going on release day to a court of um, Mist and Fury and getting it and then I remember a court of Wings and Ruin release day and I just loved the series so I decided to give it a reread I reread it with my best friend Brie because she's never read it and I'm like I want to read it with you for the first time so I can see your reactions and so like I can read it because it's been like eight years since I've picked up the series so like it's kind of like me reading it for the first time and it just didn't hit the same. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just wasn't as good. And I don't know if that's because my brain has already read them. So, like, they know. Or maybe it's because it's gotten so much attention over on the book talk space. Again, like, people are just now finding the series. And I love that. I love that people are discovering books and reading and all that. And I don't know if it's just because they've built it up. But I already know, that doesn't make sense because I already know like what happens in the series. So I don't, I don't know why. I think I just built it up more in my head than what it actually is. And it just like didn't hit the same. Uh, it also took me months to read A Court of Mist and Fury. But I also, at the time when I was rereading it, I went through some dental problems. So that could be that. Uh, I have not read A Court of Silver and Flames. And that's one, I feel like that one I'm really going to like. Um, anyways, how did I get on that subject? I don't know. Oh, the novella. Yeah, so tell me what you guys think. Uh, but yeah, I am gonna go, um, cook my graphics because I'm hungry. And I guess I'll just tell you guys what's on the plan for today. The not planned day. I still have plans. Um, graphics. And then we're gonna sit and read. And then I'm gonna pick up another book once I get, or maybe I'll just like binge read this. I don't know. We'll see. I'm either going to read a lot of this or I'm going to stop at my page count that I need to stop at and pick up another book. We'll see. Um, and then I am going at some point doing Pilates because I really want to move my body. I find that like, I just feel more accomplished if I move my body, especially on my days off because the days that I work, I am a dog groomer, so, like, I'm standing all day, I'm doing manual labor with, like, lifting dogs, walking around, taking the dogs back, I'm, like, moving my arms all day, like, I'm doing manual labor, but, like, to me, I still don't feel productive if I just do work, even though that, that's a problem, because you should feel productive if that's the only thing you've done today, is work, so, yeah, I'm gonna do Pilates at some point today, I'm really, really liking it a lot, I do feel sore, um, but that is one of the things that I want to work on for myself is just being stronger because I can lift weights. I can do that. But like when you ask me to do something with body weight, I'm like, hold it right there. No, I don't think so. So I want to get stronger in that. But I think that's all the things I have to say to you guys. I should really edit my weekly vlog, but nope, we'll wait and do that tomorrow. Because I'll have tomorrow to do that. But yeah, that's pretty much the plan. I do have to make some TikToks because I got my Illumer Crate books. If you guys watched last week's reading vlog, which you didn't, you should. I got my Illumer Crate um, Crescent City books. And I have yet to like really show them on TikTok. Like I showed me putting them on the shelves, but that's it. And I want to do a video. So at some point I do need to do that. And I also need to take an Instagram picture. But um, I think it may be of like this book or something I don't know anyways um I'm gonna go eat and I will catch you guys later
there is this week's grocery haul. I'm, I'm gonna go over everything. So first we got our bread. Um, I'm gonna make mini chicken parmesan sliders for dinner one night. Sourdough, because I like my avocado dose on sourdough bread and then just regular bread. I buy no special bread here, too expensive. Diet Coke, we don't need to go over it, we already know. Back here we got some mozzarella for the chicken parmesan sliders. We got some Colby Jack for sandwiches because I love Colby Jack. My breakfast sausages that I love. We just got some turkey. Some coleslaw because I'm going to be making pulled barbecue chicken bowls. So basically it's just barbecue chicken, um, some coleslaw, and then like potatoes in a bowl. And then we got some shredded lettuce because I'm going to be making this lunch that my mom made me last weekend. And it was so good. So I'll show you guys that today, actually. Butter because I was running out. Lemon juice for something. I forget what I'm making, but I need the lemon juice for something. Um, our green beans, which is my veggie of choice. And then we got some marinara sauce. Parmesan. And then I was running low on all my condiments. It is that annoying time where you have to, like, restock everything. So we got our mayo. Italian dressing, honey barbecue, red wine vinegar, honey mustard, and steak sauce, eggs, avocado, sugar, red onion, and a yellow onion. We got our coffee creamer, and then we got some bacon. And then over here, we just got um, some chicken strips for the par chicken parmesan, um, chicken thighs for pulled barbecue chicken, and then a pizza for when I'm bored and want something different i may have this for dinner tonight though because this sounds great or i may wait and have this next friday for when shadow and bone comes out we'll see but that is the very exciting grocery haul oh and toilet paper hello uh am i in the same clothes yes here's the thing is i'm gonna do pilates after i get to my page number and then i'll like change into like my real life clothes my clothes for the day but we're not anyways i just came on here to tell you guys that like one of my favorite things about wyatt is that he just literally loves to be by me so one of his favorite spots is to hang right here while i read and i just love it so much say hi wyatt <laughs> why do you look so mad he just looks so mad also i have to do his nails today and he is a cat that does not like it. We're working on it. We've been working on it since he was a kitten. He just hates it. So I have to trim his nails. But we're going to work up to that, aren't we, buddy? Anyways, I'm going to continue reading. That, that was all I had to say.
Hi friends, happy Saturday. I have not talked to you guys since I think Friday morning. I could be wrong, but uh, yeah, yesterday I kind of just took the day just to be and just to like do what I want. Um, and I was able to unwind and relax. I feel like today I am very relaxed. Yesterday was so nice. Like, beyond nice and I need to do that more often for myself it was very much needed however I did do some reading so I'm here to update you guys so I did read about 200 pages of Chain and Gold and now I'm up to page 400 and I am liking this curious to see how this book ends but there's the tab can you see it yep there's the tab being situation yeah so I got to up to page 400 so I read 200 pages um and also, I started my rewatch of Shadow and Bone. You know, it's fine. I got up to like episode five, I think. And a lot of it I do remember. Like I remember a lot. And I think it's also because I read the, the book series, like both uh, the Shadow and Bone and Six of Crows. So like the show wasn't so much of a reef. Fresh. I just needed, I guess it was a refresh because there were some things that like they changed in the show versus the book. So I just needed to remember those changes, but I, I pretty much remember the show. So there's that. Uh, uh, this morning I got up really late. I could not fall asleep for the life of me last night, you guys. And I was up till 3 AM. That is not me at all. So I was up. There's Wyatt. Hey Wyatt. I was up till 3 a.m. Could not fall asleep. So I woke up, you guys, at 9 a.m. Which you guys are like, Kaylin, that's not that late. Yes, it is. For me, it is. I am usually a 7 a.m. girly. I like to have a lot of time in the morning to myself. I like to feel like I had a full day on my day off. I don't like to wake up late. So now 9 a.m., my whole day feels thrown off. And I have a feeling that it's going to feel thrown off tomorrow, too, because... That dreadful freaking thing happens tomorrow as we lose an hour of sleep. Listen, I understand we get more sunlight, blah, 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 blah. But do some people not know how like the world works, the science works? Like there's not some magic in the time change. Like we would get more light regardless if we changed our time or not. Like if we left our time the way it freaking is, it would not matter. We would still get more sunlight because that's how it works science wish they would just freaking leave it alone i have insomnia as we all know and i'm someone that if i lose even 30 minutes of sleep it throws off my entire day i am out of whack i am in a really bad mood so i have a feeling like this whole next week i'm gonna be in a really bitchy mood because i'm gonna lose an hour of sleep and for those of you who really like the time change because we get more sunlight mm -mm. no i definitely feel seasonal depression when this time of year comes I love the sunshine I do and I love the warm weather like when I'm in it and I love it but here's the thing is I think when it I it comes to summer we're getting deep when it comes to summer I think of shorts swimsuits and your body being exposed more than it is in the winter and for someone who has body dysmorphia and just struggles with her body image and her weight and all that. It's just really hard to like those seasons. And that's where I get like depressed because I know that's coming. And am I getting better with my self-image and self-love and my body image? Absolutely. I'm a I'm worlds better than what I was five, even two years ago. But it still hits me. And the sleep is a big thing too with the seasonal depression anyone else relatable like I don't like the cold but I love how dark it is and I love that it's okay to stay inside I'm also a homebody so I feel like in summer if I'm not outside constantly doing something I feel extremely guilty and I shouldn't because just because I don't go outside doesn't mean I wasn't doing anything so I don't know enough about that why did I even get on that tangent I don't know but I'm actually gonna bring Georgie all along with me because I'm about to go to my parents and I'm going to read this today. I'm hoping to get a lot of this red. The font is huge. I don't know if y'all will be able to tell. 
no i was gonna compare but you can't really tell yeah this font is huge i do appreciate book of the month's font for being so big i don't know if it's they do it on purpose or what but i feel like their font is bigger than like the original like edition of the book so i'm gonna bring this along with me um that's pretty much it i'm gonna bring you guys and we'll see be roll the dogs because i know everyone loves the dogs okay i will catch up with you guys later Hello, I have not talked to you guys since this morning and I did no b-roll of a parent's house, so I'm sorry. But I quickly just wanted to come on here because I am reading Georgie all along and I'm about 60 pages into this. And I'll talk more about this book tomorrow. I mainly just wanted to come on here to say that um, my Shadow and Bone rewatch has happened and I completely forgot how much I like Nina, um, the the girl that gets caught um by the witch hunter um and then matthias the guy who like she ends up like falling in the ocean with if you guys see me you know what i'm talking about i don't want to say too much because i've read the book and i don't exactly know like where they're gonna go with the story so i don't want to say anything to like spoil anything but if you've read the book you know about them but i forgot how much i like nina I forgot and the fact like in the book like she was a plus size woman and she like embraces it and all that and I love that and that was like one of the first characters I read that was plus size and I was just so like in all of her and her character and sh just the way she's in the show is my favorite like my scenes that I love in Shadow and Bone are like the Six of Crows characters and then Nina and Matthias I love those scenes listen the Darkling is one thing. Ben Barnes, love ya. You're so attractive. But they're just boring to me. Like, even, I think because, like, I don't know. I will say that they made Mal less annoying in the show than they did, like, in the books. Like, the books, Mal was awful. I could not stand Mal. Hated Mal. But um, in the show, he's, like, less boring. Um... I don't know I just like I like those scenes but like rewatching it I'm like those are boring can we like move to like the six of crows and like Nina scenes because that's what I really care about okay that's all I wanted to say um and I will come back tomorrow morning and tell you guys about uh the book I'm reading Good morning. Actually, it's not morning. It's <clears throat> 1 p.m. You guys, this time change. This time change. So I woke up. Well, actually, Wyatt woke me up. And also, if you hear any snoring, Wyatt is snoring. He's literally right there. Anyways, I woke up and I clicked on my phone to check my time. because that's the first thing I do when I wake in the morning to check the time. I don't have like an alarm clock or anything. I need to get one, but I'm like, I want the hatch one. We all know the aesthetic, beautiful hatch one, but I'm not buying an alarm clock for that much money. And um, I checked my phone and it was 9.40, 9.40. And I was like, holy shit. Which you guys are like, Kayla, hey, it's only nine o'clock in the AM. As I've said previously in this vlog, I'm a 7 a.m. girly. And I was like, what happened? And I was like, oh, right. My body really thinks it's like 8 something. But even then, I'm like, shit. We slept late. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I had a very chill, easy morning. I put away laundry. Uh, well, I folded and put it away because I didn't do it yesterday. And then I also... Um, had my coffee I caught up on Love Island we're caught up and I read just like a couple pages and I also put dinner in the crock pot I'm making barbecue chicken bowls which I'll show you that when I'm done and made myself some lunch because it's 1 p.m and now I'm here I'm having lemon water 
let's let's take a moment to hydrate and i'm on sprints i'm on sprints i'm watching sprints with mel um it's pretty much where i'm at but i'm here to update you guys also i bought something last night that i've been wanting for a while and i wasn't going to but i have a concert coming up in april but these are also their shoes these are also the shoes i want to wear for my taylor swift tour but i'm also going to wear them a lot they won't even come until like next friday is what it says which that's a long time but i'm feeling that's not real anyways i'm here with some reading updates none from this because i think i what i updated you yesterday was i think what i said yesterday was all i have to say because i didn't read any more of that yesterday but georgie ali long ali long georgie all long i actually started yesterday and i got 105 pages into this book so what this book is about is we're following this girl named Georgie who used to live in LA. She's a personal assistant for a movie star and then she gets fired. Well, let go like because the girl who she was being the assistant for is getting out of the business. So she's kind of lost. So she goes back to her hometown in Virginia and she's mainly going back there because where else is she going to go? But also her best friend Belle just moved back and... Um, She's also pregnant, so she's going to help her, like, prepare the house and, like, just help her out and all that. So she moves back, and her parents are currently away, and so she's staying in their house. Her first night that she gets to the house, um, well, her first night there, she goes immediately to her best friend, Belle. But before that, she runs into this guy who, well, she doesn't run into this. She goes to get a milkshake for her and her best friend because they love this strawberry milkshake. They live in, like, this cute little town where everyone knows everyone, that kind of vibe. And she goes to get a strawberry milkshake for both of them. And she forgets her wallet in the car. Well, the guy behind her pays for it. And she was like, thanks. Like, I'll put money back. And he was like, kind of rude about it. Like, he was just like, come on, I need to hurry up kind of vibe. And so she goes to help Belle. She goes to Belle and she sees her and all that. And then they find like all these old boxes that are filled with Belle and hers high school like memories. And they wrote... They call it a friend fic, but basically it's a fan fiction of, like, what um, they want their lives to be. Mainly Georgie wrote it, and she's like, oh my god. So she goes home to her house, like, her parents' house, and when she gets there, she's, like, chilling in her robe. She's taking her bra off, like, her clothes are everywhere. Someone comes in the house, and it is that guy that she ran into in the store, and it ends up being her crush uh, that she had in high school's brother, like, older brother. And he's like, your dad said I could stay here. Like, I'm helping them out. I'm watching their plants. And she's like, of course. And so, like, she calls her dad. And he's like, oh, yeah. Like, I told him that, like, ages ago. He told her. He told him that last week that he could stay. And she only told them a couple days ago that she was coming into town. And so, basically, long story short, is they both end up staying in this house. And then one night, um, I guess I should say he has this dog named Hank, which I don't know what type of breed it is. It hasn't said the breed, but but anyway, so I'm guessing it's like a pit bull or some sort of like um, bully breed mix because a lot of people like aren't allowed to have bully breeds in certain areas and like certain stores are like no bully breed, which I think is so dumb because it's all up. Any, we're not going to get into that topic. I could go on and on and on and on and on about that topic, but um, I'm guessing it's a dog in the bully breed or like a mix of it. And this dog is just, like, the biggest, like, happiest dog in the world. Like, there was a scene where he takes him to daycare and he gets bit by a terrier. Like, a little mixed terrier. Which, and he bites his ear. And he has to get stitches. And so, basically, they're staying in this house together and they have to co-live. Co-exist. And there's this, um, one of the first nights that they're coexisting, like, she makes dinner and um they're having this conversation she brings up his younger brother which is evan and he's like don't talk about that like i don't talk to them and blah blah he's like just very rude um and that's basically where i'm at in the book i am really liking this book so far it's not giving me the ick there hasn't really been mention of anything that like i find cringy or icky in the book so that's good i'm very hopeful so the plans are is to read this but I really also need to try and finish this book because especially where I'm at in this book, I really want to finish it, but I kind of want to read more of this, but I think I'm going to do like a toss up. I think maybe this sprint, I will read this and then next sprint, I'll read this. 
maybe I don't know we'll see but I have 181 pages left to go on this and I really want to finish this vlog I put up a poll and actually let me see where this poll is currently at I put up a poll on Instagram and YouTube because I didn't think it was fair I just put it up on Instagram because I know some people who follow me on here don't follow me on Instagram and I put up a poll about if you guys would rather see which you guys can tell me in the comments too would you guys rather see one long vlog of the entirety of the last hour series which is three books which i'm just telling you now this vlog is probably going to be two hours just i'm just saying it's gonna be probably two hours or would you guys rather have three separate vlogs because and have the first um if we did the three or would you guys rather have three separate vlogs if we did the three separate vlogs the first one would most likely come out the week you're watching this um if we did the one big long vlog the feature film it would not come out until probably like end of april like judging how i'm like reading how slow i'm reading this book so I don't know. It's kind of up to you guys. I low-key kind of want to do three separate vlogs and it's my channel. So ultimately I could do what I want, but I also want to like do what you guys want too. So anyways, I asked on Instagram and it was one long vlog, three, no, three separate vlogs, one on Instagram. Right now, the one long vlog is winning on YouTube. And I was hoping to have more clarity. So I don't know. The ultimate decision will be what you guys say in the comments. So please, please, please let me know in the comments because I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to go to Sprint and I will catch up with you guys later. We are having our second cup of coffee today. You guys, th excuse you. This time change has just kicked my butt. I even did Pilates and I just feel so tired. So we're having a second cup of coffee. Also, I need to get like cute spring cups. The Christmas cups need to go up. We need to get some cute mugs. I have an Amazon haul for you guys. None of this is bookish related. I'm just gonna say that right now. So let's just like dive right into it. So I got sucked into it. I've seen this all over TikTok and I'm like, I kind of want to try it. I bought myself a waxing kit because I am tired of shaving my legs and I've heard waxing is so much better. And like the more you do it, the less hair grows back. So I bought this one and this is called the Wax Fan. So it comes with the waxing key there up thing. It comes with a cartridge and then it comes with a ton of waxing strips, um, the spray, and then instructions. I don't know if there's already a cart. Oh, there is. Okay, so it comes with, it already comes with a cartridge in here. So I low-key want to do this tonight. Another one. Oh, I know what this is. I mentioned that I wanted to start redoing my house, like my artwork and stuff like that. And I found some stuff for the bathroom. And I showed you guys in last week's vlog my Harry Styles poster that I got for the kitchen. And I got this one. Can you guess who it's from? I'll, I'll give you a second for you guys to guess who I got a poster that's inspired by. Any guesses? I got a Taylor Swift inspired one. This is Mirrorball. It says, I want you to know that I'm a Mirrorball. I'll show you every version of yourself tonight. And I thought, oh, reflective. That can go in the bathroom. That's gonna go in there. And this, I believe, is the frame that I got. Oh, 
we got something else. Yeah, a frame. Yeah, so this is gonna go up in my bathroom. And then, we got some hooks for my towels. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna take you guys with me, show you what it looks like now, and then I'll show you after. This is what it looks like now. I want the Taylor Swift poster to go here, hooks here. Let's do it. So I put it here and I put that there because there's a nail there and I don't like how it looks. I want to kind of put this higher and get rid of that, but we'll leave it. And then we put the towel up and I'm keeping that over here because there's again a nail. I think I'm going to put like a shelf here though to put like products on, um, but I just haven't gotten one yet. So there's that. Are you kidding me? You enjoying the heated blanket? Hmm? Hi guys, please ignore the hair. Um, I just washed it and it air dried, so there's just like nothing I can do about it. But I am here because it is the end of Sunday, which means it is time for me to say goodbye, wrap up this vlog, and um, update you a little bit on my reading because I have not done that a lot today, so let's do that. First off, you know how I said earlier um, I showed you guys my Amazon haul and I got that roll-on waxer. I waxed my legs. 10 out of 10 would recommend. It, to me, did not hurt as much as I thought it would. And I think the secret is, if you're going to get a roll-on waxer, is to let it heat up for a long time. Like, I let it heat up for an hour. Because if it goes on easy, it comes off easier. And I, it was just... It was a little hard at first to get the hang of it, but once you get the hang of it, you got it. And I would recommend. Anyways, enough about that. Let's talk about reading. So for this week, I actually managed to read quite a bit for me. So we finished, if you guys remember, A Man Called Ova. Uh, five stars, absolutely love this book. I can't wait to watch the movie, but I'm just gonna wait. There's a bookmark in there. I'm just gonna wait to watch the movie because I don't wanna cry yet, so. And then we picked up a chain called gold. What? And then a chain of gold. I actually just finished this. Like I literally just finished this um, five seconds ago. You guys, here's my thing with this. Did I love the world? Yes. Do I love the characters? Absolutely. Was I a little bored in the middle of it? A little bit. But the ending was well with the journey. Like, I am so excited for the next book. I think this book did a great job setting up for the rest of the series. But I can say that I like this a whole lot more than Mortal Instruments. Um, but I think I'm going to settle on like a 3.5. It just doesn't feel like a four-star book to me or a five-star book for me. So... We're going to give it a 3.5. And I thought about giving it a 4 star because I'm like, so many people love this book. But no, no, no. We're not doing it because people love it. We're doing our own rating. So a 3.5, I feel like, is good for this book. Like, I feel like it was a good book. But I also should say that I am not one for the Mortal Instruments. I don't really care for the Mortal Instruments. So maybe that is why I'm rating it lower because, like, Yes, the world is cool, cool and like the characters, I really like the characters, but like, I don't know, it's just not like hidden like it hits with other people. Like this, like I have so many more fantasy books. I have so many other fantasy series that I love more. And I'm just like, it's just not hidden. I don't know, maybe it'll be changed. Maybe it will change as like the series goes on. But yeah, otherwise, I mean, pretty solid book. I really, I did enjoy it. And then I picked up Georgie All Along and I did not read any more since updating you guys. I'm still 105 pages in, but I think I'm going to read a little bit before bed or maybe just play Disney Dream Light Valley because I did, I did, I did finish this hunk of a book. I did read 200 pages today combined with this and this. So, you know, we read a lot, but yeah, that's pretty much all my reading updates for you guys. So this is what the stack looks like. Um, and I'm also looking at this now, realizing I did not take a thumbnail for this vlog. Uh, you know what? We'll worry about it tomorrow. We'll worry about it tomorrow. Yeah, but I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, make
make sure you give it a big thumbs up and make sure you guys are subscribed so you can see more of my lovely face. Uh, if you don't already, you can follow me on my social medias. They are always linked down below for you guys as well as some other links to support me and my channel. And I hope you guys are doing well and I hope you guys are reading lots of good books and I will see you guys in my next video.